We are back once again here in Columbus after another playoff defeat. This time it was even more heartbreaking because we were basically about to get swept. We pulled it all the way back to a game seven only to lose in the third period. You hate to see it, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles. So we're going to go ahead and see if our team, I see we signed free agent goaltender Dylan Ferguson. I swear if we just signed a backup goaltender and that's it, I'm going to lose it. Okay, I won't lose it, but I definitely will be upset. I'll say that. As we always do, simulate past the preseason because who really cares about it? Not me. I'll tell you that for free. Why'd you come in so aggressive there, James? How about you zip it? They're both cup trout. Obviously, I'm taking the one that also has has tip jar. There's approximately a 0.01% chance I win the consummate, so it's just, you know, absolutely not. Should I start working on brand this year just for fun? Like, really go out of my way? It updated our equipment again. Can we stop doing that? I don't think that's an unreasonable request at the start of every year to just set my equipment to be some default. I think that's very fair of me to ask. GM, if you've ever done anything, please let it be now. Oh my word. Okay, so we do have Trevor Seacrest. That's hilarious. All right, so we've reunited with Trevor. We got Johnny and Marchenko as a first line. That's insane. 85 overall Batherson. Johnson, Bjorkstrand, Kempe. Ridiculous second line. Defensively, we got Slavin. And Gooley's up to an 83. Wallman, 82. Okay, we're looking good. We didn't make a lot of moves, but the ones we did are mighty fine. And we got Dylan Ferguson starting the first game. Bold. That first line has to go off. There's no way. They are going with Ferguson in the first one here against the Pity Pens, and it is a W. All right, nice. So we start the season off strong. We have the Sabres here. We will be in for this one. Let's see if it is a game worth jumping into or not. A goal from Zucker puts the Blue Jackets in the lead. We are up 1 0 now in the first period here. Shots are even, and I am really down with this new team. So hopefully, this is the one. Really? A buzzer beater? Power play for Columbus, and we get one from the new kid on the block, Trevor Zegris. That is massive. Slavin's going to be a big help defensively. Ken Johnson extends the lead. We now have a two-goal lead, and it will be a 3-1 game going into the third period. Yeah, we'll jump into it. Why not? This will be our first look at Zegris in a Columbus Blue Jackets uniform. That is crazy. Quinn goes over to Tage Thompson. Cuts back, finds Addison. Paddle at the blue line there. And it looks like Johnny is going to win it back in the corner. David, in over the blue line. Taking it wide. Oh, but cuts to the middle. Great pass to his D partner. Oh, another great shot there. And he plays it out. Okay, Hugo. Kicked aside. He was kind of wide open there, too. I feel like our whole team was just clumped into one little area. That is very motivating though. I was not really looking forward to starting a new season here with Columbus. Thought it was gonna be same old, same old. But the GM actually did something bringing in two new star players. I think that I have a fire reignited here for this team. Let's go, Columbus. It is time for us to win a Stanley Cup once and for all. We all need it here. All right, Scott needs his first Stanley Cup. Columbus. First Stanley Cup in franchise history. Here's Tage. Thought he was going to grip it and rip it, but no, he passes it over to Quinn, and I will pass it over to Bjorkstrand, who didn't pass it up the boards. Risky play, but he did, in fact, make it work. So credit where it's due. Zucker, great pass, and that will be blocked. Hey, whoa! Looks like it could have been maybe a hand pass in the crease there. It was pretty close. Just saying. Good shot, Tage. Okay, so our lead is now down to one goal. Which I guess is better than being tied. Let's go one, two. Not really a pass that you should have forced. Probably could have brought that thing behind the net, tried to set up shop. Just some advice, you know, from a vet. <laughs> In Scott Sterling, who is a goalie and not a player. Get deleted. Holy crap, what a save. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Tage tries to from a sharp angle. I don't think so. I really doubt it, actually. We gotta get the puck out, guys. Like, come on now. 
We still have this same problem. Zegris in the middle to Johnny Hockey. Look at him hustling out there too. Love it. This guy came to Columbus. He wanted to play with Scott again. And he wanted a Stanley Cup alongside his former goaltender. I guess he wants, not wanted. Yeah, well, I'm assuming when I say wanted, I'm like, that's why he came to the team. Regardless, what a save by Olnefeld. Oh, actually, Owen Power was the Norris winner last season, wasn't he? So this is cool. Going up against a trophy winner here. You think you're all that in a bag of Doritos with your little trophy, Owen? Probably, I would too. Nice hit on Magnuson. He is a speedy lad out there. 2.37 remaining. The one goal lead still intact after Tage Thompson buried a shot in the slot to almost bring his team back into this thing. I mean, moment... Dumb wise, he probably did. Well, now they are back in it. And we take a penalty. Are you kidding me? Are you actually serious right now? I at least just want to get this thing to overtime so we can get one out of it. I know that's not setting the standard very high, but... At this point in the game, we take those. I thought that went in. I really did think that was hitting the back of the net. But it didn't. And now here comes Magnuson. Yeah, this guy's quick. Tried to pass it off, but our defenseman read that pass from a mile away. Low shot into the glove. I will pass it out to David. Trust him. Headman's it to Zucker. 26 seconds left, but I mean, there's only seven left in the period, so they might get one more chance here before the end of regulation. Tage Thompson wires one. And saved by the bell. We only need 15 seconds to kill this off. And then we're back to even strength. It'll be four on four until a whistle. Go. Oh, yeah? Skate Slavin. What a back check by Magnuson. That guy's a stud. I'm assuming he's just one of the draft picks they've had over the last few years. Saved it even though it was screened heavily. And now Columbus back the other way, Trevor. Oh, that would be heroic. Can you imagine? Or Johnny. Very close. Very, very close. Battle in the corner. And Johnny comes out with it to Trevor. And it is poked off of his stick by Rosen. If I got it in the glove there, I probably would have smothered it. Give it to me because I want three on three. Four on four is cool and all, but three on three is just better. Might not get the opportunity to. We might score here. Johnny back to David. To Johnny. He could have ripped a shot right there. And of course their goalie passes it out. To be fair. The computer goalies have been sending almost everything out. Risky or not. So that's nice. Happy to see that. Can we win the battle? No. Addison still has it. Downloaded Cousins. Is he going to walk out? Yes he is. Glove save. Get over there. Hug the post. Do the Michigan, Trevor. You won't. Great save by Hugo. And we take another penalty. Tripping again. Only three seconds left. So we're probably going to a shootout. Not excited for that. Considering I only get one flying poke check. Yeah, we won the draw. So shootout it is. Let's go 11. Let's go Zeegs. That was disgusting. I actually do want to see the replay on this. Wow. What a goal. How about that? Puck on a string. Yeah, I'd say. Little dipsy doodle had the whole side of the net. All right, this is my chance to do the flying poke check. You know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to stay with them. I'm just going to stay with them regular. Well, no. Johnny Hockey coming in for the Jackets, and he is saved on the blocker. I can't believe that went in. I actually can't believe it. Oh, no, it's Magnuson. It's Magnuson. So now we need a goal here. We need one. Come on. You can do it. I know you can do it. I don't blame you for trying. Not a 
not a great game from Scott. Do we have any games with Anaheim in the first like 27? I see one here. So I'd like to try and play that one, but that honestly might be too far into the season. Ah, uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, you know what? Let's sim up to, I don't know. What's a good game to play? Vancouver. Oh yeah, we are on a rip. 5-0-1, Dallas Stars, Stanley Cup winners. Take us down, but it was a shootout. So all the games we're losing so far, except for that one right there, are in overtime. Okay, 9-2-2, two, and two, and we are going up against the 13-4-0 Canucks. They're first in the Pacific. This will be a battle. They're set second in the league. If we take them down, this would be a massive dub for the Jackets. So let's do it. Okay, yeah, they have the guy that won every trophy in the book last year. They also have Betts, whoever that is. Can't lie to you, that's not exactly how I thought this game was going to go out of the gate. But we managed to keep them to two goals in the first, so there you go. Just like that, Wallman scores. Wait a minute. He was a part of the Detroit team that put us out last year. Get him out of here. Can we get one more before the third period? No, we can't. All right, I'll still jump into this one though. I want to see what Vancouver's all about. You know what I mean? We could still score two goals here in this third period. Definitely not out of this game. This would be a good way to start. This would be a really good way to start. They have a lot of prospects on this team. They still have JT Miller, but they have two players that didn't even have a picture. So clearly draft picks. They have Ranton in, which I don't know how they managed to pull that off. Yeah, this Nathaniel Betts guy, he's like 88 overall, loaded with abilities. JT Miller tries to make a pass, but our defenseman was all over. That's a dangerous trip. That is disgusting. Nice try right off the draw, trying to catch him off guard. And we were trying to go for the one time or two. Okay, I see you boys. Well, that power play sucked. Got pretty much nothing going for us. Johnny on the doorstep again. Still can't score. Rantanen. That guy is a menu. Why did I bite so hard on the shot? Why do I always do that? Just stay still. Well, 4-1. Not quite, but I would say that this is what we call in the business a write-off. Just put it right into his chest. That's what I would do, honestly. Great passing. All right. Still got 12 minutes left. Two goals. If we keep playing like this, it's possible. But if I keep playing how I'm playing, we're going to need a lot more than two goals. Here's Rotti. Whoa. I don't know about that one. Maybe shouldn't be hitting from behind. But it gave us the puck. And we almost scored off of it. So never mind. If you see that stop sign on the jersey, which they don't have in the NHL, obviously. But... Just go for a run anyway. It's just a video game. Pull your RV. Okay, stayed a little bit more composed on that one. I wonder if they do still have those. I'm assuming they do in minor hockey, the stop sign on the back of the jersey. But I don't even know like what age you start hitting in hockey anymore. Because when I was younger, we started hitting like when we were eight. Like, probably even before that, I don't know. Another save on pool party. Marine, no. Hits the post. Goalie's best friend. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Oh. Oh? I really did think it was going to pop fly into the net. But no. Why would I ever think we'd get that lucky? Great passing again. This time their goalie had it in the glove. Able to make a stop and prevent this game from becoming a one-goal game. Passing. From Vancouver now. And a glove save from Scott. So basically just exchanging. No, Johnny. Four minutes left. Down by two. And now shorthanded. Okay. I think Vancouver is getting the best of this one. It's fine. It's all right. We'll just beat them later in the season. You know how it is. Pass it out. Even though I absolutely should not have there. They were all over us. Somehow it worked. And now it really worked. Kempe. Yeah. Drake? You gotta be hitting the net there, pal. That was a little bit scary. I mean, it's not like there's much on the line. So, I am recording this right after the unfortunate playoff defeat. So nothing really feels like that, you know? Not as stressful because it's just a regular season game. Oh, please get off the ice. Please get off the ice! 
Yes! I got off! It wasn't on me. I never expect to be pulled because the coach just doesn't do it all the time, you know? So why would I expect that you're going to call me over to the bench when you never do? Sit down. Oh, he even saves that? This goaltender's insane. Oh, what's going on here? That was a freaky little couple seconds, but unfortunately, we took an L. I've not won a game in this video yet, but our team's record's still good. With Zeegs and Scott both on the same team now, we have to take on Anaheim, so I'm gonna simulate up to that game. It's probably more than a third of the season, but whatever. The Flyers are having a great season. Kings also doing very well. I'm gonna get the beach ball speech, really. Well, I'm going for the brand like ability. You haven't been that bad, you're just gonna back up like that? You're just gonna backpedal? Whoa, coach, I don't think so. Just like old times, conversation with Trevor. What is up, pal? Yeah, sure, whatever you want. Diplomatic though, just because I unlocked those answers, so I'm gonna use them. Management, apparently, very happy with that one. Holy, we are on a run. Is that five straight wins? What do you want, coach? Are you gonna tell me I still can't stop a beach ball? Because last time I checked, we're on fire. Yeah, exactly, we've been hot lately. All right, here we go, another meeting. They are starting to ramp up. Whatever it is, just renew it because it's gonna give me another X Factor point, so yes. The Ducks not looking so hot. 13, eight and four. We are 21, 10 and two. We better win this game. They are 31st in the league. If we don't win this game, just blow the team up. Sell, all right? Get rid of everybody, including me. Troy Terry scores with 30 seconds left, but then we get one from Marchenko. That is huge. And they score immediately when the second starts. Greenway gets Anaheim back in the lead. We also give them a power play. We seem to have an undisciplined team here. I feel like we're just constantly taking penalties. Thank you, Stankovan. 2-2 game and a power play? No buzzer beater this time, but that's okay. We have a tie game going into the third. We are still on the power play for only 10 seconds though, so we're not really on the power play. Kasperi Kapanen. They still have Drysdale on the team. They had Lucas Raymond, I believe. Clutch, absolutely clutch. Good pass, back to the point, and I don't know why Batherson's back there. Maybe because we were just on the power play, but whatever, it is what it is. That's a goal, and we are back. Well, no, we're not back in the lead. We've never had the lead, but we've established our first lead of this game. Boom, what a howitzer. Oh no, Barabanov goes for the cross ice pass. That would have been an easy tap in, but thankfully our boy was there. And now we are headed right back the other way. A shot on net, Joey Decord catches it, tosses it out as well. Loving these computer goalies throwing the puck out at any given chance. They do have Raymond and I just saved him. Another save, not so lucky on the rebound though. You were a little too late on knocking him down in front there. Well, we're back to being tied. All I wanna do is win one game in this video, just one. And especially against the Anaheim Ducks, you know, that would just be the perfect game to take a dub. They suck, they're 31st. I felt like the writing was on the wall, but apparently not. No way the puck meets Irene. To be fair, I think it was deflected by Decord off the blocker. And then that one rides the top of the net like it's a snowboard grinding the rail. All right. I, you know what? I respect that point shot. Didn't want to hurt anyone. Kept it low. Fair enough. Nice hit on Raymond. Unfortunately, he was still able to get this puck off to whoever that was who didn't really do a whole lot with it, so never mind. Took the hit for no reason. Great save, Joey. Great save. But we're not done there. Batherson battling. Gets it to Bjorkstrand, who tries to go for a little razy. Top glove side, no dice. And now it might be Anaheim's turn to try and break this tie. Oh wow, what a pass, and what a save by Scott Sterling. Yes. Yes! Some things never change. Some things never change. And Anaheim, having their defense own goal, is still very much alive. What an awful way to get the lead, and I love it. Jamie Drysdale, he's the one that got the goal, to be fair, he is. Just skates this one right into the net. What are you doing? What are you doing, Jamie? 
he must have taken after the other players on the team. You know, he was young when we were there. Probably getting some advice from these guys. And they're like, you know what? You just score on your own net. It solves all the problems. That plinko its way through. Oh, another great save. Send it out. And we have a guy all over. Their entire team just vacated the area. I don't know what happened there. But they said, no, I'm leaving. We know this goalie's going to throw it out. And you know what? We're just going to respect it. Barabanov. He's going cross ice. Just narrowly missed. But you know what? I am fairly confident that I would have had that had it been going in the net. And we are down to the final minute here. It's looking good, but Anaheim has been getting a lot of chances recently, so we got to beware for sure. Definitely cannot count them out. And here comes another one, I imagine. Barabanov is in. He doesn't really have a whole lot. Goes behind the net. Oh, no. Yep, saved. Saved as well. Kempe, send it down the ice. Take the ice and call. I don't care. Just don't let them continue this pressure. Yes! There it is. Game over. We're probably going to get an empty netter because their defense backs up, which makes zero sense. Absolutely magnificent. Needed that win. Columbus looking good this year. How about it? 22-10-2. Let's have a look at the standings. We are going up against the first place LA Kings next game. At the moment, we are second in the division. We are three points behind the Flyers, but they have two games on us. So that is worth noting. We're three points up on the Rangers, who are second in the division. But we have the same amount of games. So really like our spot right now. The LA Kings first in the league with 24 wins, nine losses, and three overtime losses. And Toronto is having a historically bad season wow 728 and 2 look at the point percentage drop off 41.7 21.6 bet you they're still selling out insane debut from zegris he has 40 points 20 apiece right now in just 34 games marchenko has 30 points goudreau with 29 he's only played 28 games so he seems to be a little bit fragile he's still injured right now i guess looking at the thing beside his x factor what is going on johnny you got to stay in these games justin somehow has 25 points same with kent bjorkstrand 24 all right uh, yeah whatever scott not doing great 906 306 and ferguson doing outstanding but he has a record of 3 3 and 0 we are 19 7 and 2 with a shutout to boot in the entire league philip gustafson and hart and sterling all have 19 wins oh wow so we're up there okay cool and all the save percentages aren't that good honestly i mean 9 tenths pretty solid kale mccarr currently leading defenders not by a lot though josh norrissey has 36 points so he's right there and he also has five less games played so yeah you know what i'd say he's kind of in first not really but and matthews leading the league at the moment with 49 points 28 goals mcdavid and benson in second with 25 wow matthews and benson playing together that explains a lot well thank you for watching appreciate you guys as always if you could leave a like and subscribe that would be fire but if not that's cool too on that note i will see you soon